Welcome back to the Rod and Fez show. Tonight I, on the line, WWE tickets for Monday Night Raw at the MCI Center. Also, we're giving away a pair of Kiss tickets. Is that tonight, uh, J-Dubs? That's tonight. All right. Now, Fezzy, some guys dropped by. You were saying you needed some energy, and these guys make their own energy drink that we're going to try out tonight. All right. Is it just coming in like in an open mug? They just make it in a vat or something? Yeah. It's just an open mug, and you're just going to... They made it in their garage today, and you're going to try it tonight. It's coming in an old milk carton. It comes from an old meth lab. I think you're going to really enjoy it. It's going to be nice for you. All right, look at this. Now, look at the shape he's in, Fuzzy. I like to see in this kind of shape. He looks energetic. Yeah. Good. How you doing? All right, here's Tommy. Tommy, who we got here? We got Minoj and Paul. Paul, now, which one of you guys came up with this energy drink? Neither of us came up with it, but Paul's oh. the one that called you yesterday. Oh, okay. In the air, I guess you guys talked to me. Oh, so this isn't something you make yourself, it's just something yeah, you sell. Distributors, yeah. Oh, okay. All right, now, what's going to happen if we drink one of these? Will we be too jacked up to sleep tonight? Uh, yeah, you probably will be. Yeah. You'll have a great show, though. Yeah. <laughs> I don't mind, you know, I don't mind a little bit of energy, but I want to sleep before 7 o'clock. So we should have had this 12 hours ago. Yeah. Now you'll be okay. Be you'll okay. be okay. One will be okay? Yeah. 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 Which one do you want to try? Uh, what do you got there? I got lemonade, cran grape, um, the tropical, and an orange blast. I'll try the tropical. So they all do the same thing? They're just different flavors? Yeah, and the tropical also comes in a uh, caffeine-free. But huh? I don't want the caffeine. Yeah, I yeah I don't want caffeine. Well, then... I right, no carbs, no sugar, and no caffeine. All right, that's beautiful. There you go. All right, I'll take that berry blast. He wants extra carbs, extra sugar. All right, ready, Fez? Yeah. And then we'll call each other at 3 o'clock in the morning and see if we're still rushing. Mine's already foaming up out of the can. I can't wait. It's so energetic. It'll be like when you're younger and speeding and try to knock on your friend's window at 4 o'clock in the morning. Hey, man, I can't deal. Why don't you come on out and we'll smoke cigarettes. Okay, I can already taste that this is a bad idea. That's not a bad idea. Oh, it's delicious. It's fantastic. Fuzzy, why don't you do it before you work out? Because I don't work out. No, well, yeah, that's a problem. I would never know when to take it. All right, where can everybody pick these up? Uh, there's two websites you can try. Uh-huh. Uh, one is uh, McKinney Enterprises. All right, McKinney, net. yeah. And it's M-C-K-E-N-N-E-Y, enterprises.net. All right, now, Fuzzy, yeah, go ahead. The other one is Energy Four. excuse me, XS Energy 4, the number 4, U. Uh, the letter dot biz. All right, now we're going to get jacked up on these tonight. And Fez, I know you're a little nervous. I am nervous, and I can feel it like foaming in my mouth already. That's what I mean. I can, I can feel it kicking in already. All right, Fezzy, <laughs> I'm going to show you how safe this product is. J Dubs, why don't you drink the rest of them? How many is there? Two, four, six, eight, nine. How nine? Many, why don't you do like five of them? Five of them? Okay, I can do five. Do five quick and see how you feel. Also, when you go on the uh, Internet site, you have to use the password Paul. Paul, okay. All right, there it is. Just killing them. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Down's the first one like Elvis. He looks like he's adding motor oil to himself. Yeah, he really does. He's just cracking a can and dumping it in a funnel. <laughs> So there's no re <laughs> so there's no reason for you to worry at all in this fez. Yeah, I'll just let J Dubs be my guide here. <laughs> yeah. As long as he's okay, I'm okay. That one's not gonna work. That's caffeine for. Um, yeah. I thought it tasted weird. Yeah. <laughs> you like the caffeine, right, uh, Dubs? That's what it's all about. Yeah, I know. I think he's already. I think he's already energized. Watch, well, she'll be interrupting us tonight, trying to come up with stuff. Start stuttering in an hour. I already do that. He's liking these things. He loves them. They're good. This is the excess energy drink. All the energy, none of the sugar. That's good for you, yeah. Jobs. Yeah, that's good. If you look at the back, I wasn't lying about the 4,900% B12. The 4,900% Fezzy. You get all the B12 you need. Wow, it's like it makes you wonder why they would even let you print that on a can. How many have you done now, Dubs? This is number four. Yeah. I'll tell you this, you can slam. I'll do whatever Dubs doesn't do. I think I need some energy. You, you do. You think you need energy. Yeah. You do. He's already got heart problems. 
Yeah. I don't want you to do anything. Last night was a big night for you. You laughed once. Yes. Yeah. Yes, I am. <laughs> you just stick to your tickling therapy, Sid. <laughs> All right. Your tickling therapy cured me, Eugene. Yes. All right. There's Dubs on his fifth one. No, Tommy, you hit the workout. Do you ever drink any of these energy drinks? No, but I think I'm going to start with a new schedule. So. No, you're so tiny, though. You probably will just give it to you in an eyedropper. Thanks for pointing that on on the air. How how big are you? Uh, like 145. And how tall? Uh, five five. <laughs> Please, you're five five. <laughs> Thanks, Ron. You're five five on the steps, maybe. <laughs> you're standing on Paul's shoes, and you're not even five five. All right, have you gotten a buzz yet, uh, J Dubs? Yeah, I'm starting to get a little twitchy. Yeah, nice. I'm rocking. Yeah, just ride it out, bro. That's the important thing: is go with it. Don't fight the current. You got to guide along with it. All right. Well, we'll do updates tonight. Thanks so much. Thanks, fellas. For the Thank energy you, drinks, boys. Thank you. Excess energy thing. A drink. Think. <laughs> energy thing. <laughs> Thank you. All right, Fuzzy, here's an update on your uh, on the uh, Emmy Awards that you were talking about earlier. Le uh, this is Best Variety Show, Letterman, Conan, Jon Stewart, Saturday Night Live, and Chappelle's show all were put up, and no Jay Leno. Jay Leno, I would think, gets shut out on a regular basis. I think this is the first time he's been shut out because there's not that many what you would call variety shows on in you know nighttime television but why when the whole country seems to be watching the Leno show do you not talk to anybody who legitimately thinks he's funny anymore yeah there's not one person that says hey did you catch Leno last night that guy's a riot I gotta catch Le oh, I'm sorry I can't come out Leno's on a little later and I'm not gonna miss it I don't understand it, Fez. How does he get the big numbers? It must just be the the creatures of habit. I mean, although Johnny Carson's been gone for over ten years now. Ten years, so you can't <laughs> base it on habit. People have looked at all the shows. They're secretly picking the Tonight Show, and yet they're not talking about it. I want to listen to anybody who consistently watches the Tonight Show and thinks that it's funny. 866-277-4969. 866-277-4969. A lot of the times I'll uh, catch him at the very end of his show when I'm clicking over for Conan, and there's they've got this really sad kind of theme that they're going out theme that I really like. I'm, I don't. I don't. I don't think I've ever seen the end of a Tonight Show. You don't watch a Tonight Show at all under any circumstances. No, I do not. I think. Well, I take it back. When he had Arnold on, and yeah. we were waiting for the announcement, and yeah. he was going to run. Yeah, it does seem like he will get the bigger star guess than Letterman gets, but he will not do consistently as funny shows as him or Conan, which is actually. A pretty funny show. There's a lot of really good people on Conan's show. Leno, even when he has a good guest that I've turned, I've watched, turned over to watch, like uh, when he had Laura Bush on, I had to turn that off because the interview is just so bad. I can't put up with his half of it. I need when I watch the Tonight Show, I need a half mute button where I can only hear the guest response and not Jay Leno's. All right, now out of this, Letterman, Conan, John Stewart, Saturday Night Live. And Chappelle's show, who would you give it to? I would give it to Jon Stewart and The Daily Show. Very, very funny show. Although that Chappelle show, really, really popular with people now. Everybody's doing the, the stuff at me. Uh, Jon Stewart's show, I think, is just absolutely brilliant. It just uh, kills me. Here's uh, Dan. Dan, you're on the Ron and Fez show. How you doing, buddy? Yeah. 2.32. Oh, man, that's been a while. How you doing, my friend? I think Leno's just as funny as Family Circus. Hooray! Yeah, Leno does have a Family Circus, that comic strip kind of feel about it. I, I, whenever he leaves this, well, well, whenever he does things like Iron Jay or whatever, if he even still does that, I never laugh at that stuff. I don't laugh at jaywalking. The headlines don't even crack me up anymore. A lot of the jaywalking stuff, it's so stupid that it can't be true. Here is uh, Bill. Bill, you're a Hey guys, how you doing? 
I like I like the Jay Leno show. I only watch about the first half hour, then go to bed. But I like the social criticism of basically showing how stupid and fat American society is getting. That's what most of his jokes seem to be about now. A lot of it seems to be almost like the same Bush joke every night, the same Carrie joke. And he really does a long, long monologue. And don't get me wrong, when Jay Leno, before he got to Tonight Show and used to do stand-up, I think he was probably the sharpest stand-up throughout the whole 80s. He was really quick, really funny, really biting. And I don't know this kind of... I've got to kind of dumb my humor down for middle America. All right, so, but you're a fan mainly of his stand up, his stand up portion of the show, well, I, the monologue. I don't bother to watch interviews. Yeah. You like the monologue and then you turn it off. Well, the monologue, then maybe uh, jaywalking or, or headlines or that kind of thing. And, but and it's, then, then I go to sleep. Yeah, right up until it's time to bring out whatever movie yeah, star's going to film it. It's my time to snooze. All right, thank you very much. Here's Paul. Paul, you're on the Fez. Hey, Ron Fez. How you doing, guys? Hey, buddy. Hey, uh, one of the reasons why I think Jay Leno is falling off the charts is because of the Stern show. Almost every day, uh, Howard Stern rips on him, and uh, that's probably why he's falling off the charts a little bit. I know he does rip on him, I guess, for uh, stealing Stutter and John, which was a really odd move for a guy who's got the number one television show to do. You know what I'm saying? It just... It looks like Jay Leno, in all your years of doing comedy, you can't find your own people. You gotta go to another show for it. And according to Howard, the lame excuse that Leno gave him of "No, I didn't take him from your show. I saw him on uh, I'm a Celebrity. Get me the hell out of here." Yeah, I wanted that guy. Yeah, well, he did do that show, and he did actually do pretty well on it. I haven't seen uh, how much Stutter and John is on the Tonight Show, and I'm sure it's a huge step up for him in terms of pay. I'm sure he's getting real nice pay to show up on a network show every night. Here is um, Chris. Chris, you're on Fez. Hey, guys. Uh, you guys got a great show. Yeah, we do. But, uh, yeah, I'm forced to watch Leno every night, and, uh, yeah, it's horrible. Now, how, how come you're forced to? Uh, I live uh, out in the boonies, so I, uh, I only get one channel. You live so far out in the sticks that all you see is NBC. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Wow, not even the other two networks. I, I, I'm going to let you in on something. There's something called satellite television. Yeah, yeah, I've heard of that. Yeah, pick one up for yourself. You'd love it. It's a whole new world. Not just to sit there and go, oh, good, The Apprentice is on. <laughs> he must have really taken it hard when Friends went off the air. He's... <laughs> I guess he uh, suddenly finds himself... Well, he was really upset when they lost the AFC. <laughs> no! Football is going off of television. Where's Chris Collinsworth? I don't understand why we don't get football on TV anymore. Hey, Mike. Mike, you're on the Ron and Fez show. Buddies. Hey, buddy. Hey, yeah. I, uh, I, watch, I, uh, I watch Dave and uh, Conan, love Conan. And, uh, you know, now and then I'll catch uh, Leno. I think the only reason people watch him... Yeah. Gilbert Gottfried. How often is Gilbert doing the show? I've seen him do like a dumb Harry Potter bit and every now and then, but that guy is comedy, you know. Yeah, well, he's funny. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sit here and take shots at Gilbert Gottfried. <laughs> you know who I see on Leno uh quite a bit though, is Arsenio Hall seems to have a relationship with Leno. Yeah, that that all comes from I guess uh I'll kick Leno's ass. Yeah, but <laughs> why would you ever let him back on? I don't even get that. Here is uh, Rico. Rico, you're on Fez. Hey, guys, what's up? Yeah. Um, yeah, I hate Leno, but uh, he mentioned stuttering John every day after his monologue every night. And do they do a bit together? Or are they doing jokes? What are they doing? No, it's just right after, right after he's through with his monologue, he's like, uh, this is a Tonight Show, and here's John, whatever his name is. I don't know. And John doesn't have to do much on that show, huh? No, they, they like, zoom on him, but that's it. And they don't call him stuttering. No, I don't think so. Yeah. They call him John, who doesn't really talk all that well. 866-277-4969. 866-277-4969. Jose, you're on Ronnie Fez. Yeah, I just think that uh, Jay Leno's slot, time slot should be moved up one hour later and Conan O'Brien one hour before him. Well, you I know... Think... I think Conan O'Brien is so much funnier than Jay Leno. You know, Conan's been talking about the fact that he would like to get out of that late, late show. He's done it for 10 years himself. There's not, you know, much left for him to do there. 
But where else could he possibly go? I think he would have a better chance of replacing Letterman than he will Leno. I think Leno's going to be on for another 20 years. Oh, Leno's just bolted into that chair. He's yeah. not getting out of there. And I always like the gimmick of no guest host. Uh, I really don't want you to compare me to anybody else. All right, thank you very much, Jose. Here is uh, Jane. Jane, you're on Lena Fez. Hey. Hey. Just wanted to say that, um, you know, Leno, he doesn't really show his personality on the show as much, whereas Letterman and John Stewart, you know, when the whole 9-11 thing happened, they both seemed really shaken up. They both had a little thing about it, but Leno never does say anything like that. I don't think Leno has human feelings, for one. Number two, what he tries to be is as milk toast as humanly possible, because, like, the real Jay Leno in the 80s was somewhat of a freak. Oh, yeah, and, and angry Jay Leno. Yeah. You would see him go off on different things in America. And now he just really likes everybody, and everything's okay, and everything's great. Here's uh, Calvin. Calvin, you're on the uh, Ron and Fez show, 866-277-4969, 866-277-4969. Here, you gotta take your you got to take your thumb off that out there. There you go. Calvin, there you go. Hello? Yeah, how are you, buddy? Uh, I'm good, thanks. Uh, who is this? It's Ron and Fez. Now, see, what can we oh, do for okay. Fe is the, yeah, is the, uh, What do you call it, getting to you already? Yeah, the excess energy drink. Uh-oh. Yeah, um, uh, people have been calling and uh, trying to guess, uh, you know, why people uh, are, are now watching Leno or whatever. Yeah. But, okay, I, was, I just want to give my personal opinion. I used to That's watch Leno, I don't watch him anymore. Yeah. And, uh, you know, at first, uh, the, yeah, they had, like, a good chemistry with, um, uh, what's his name, Kevin, the, the guitar player? Yeah. You know, he's always uh, laughing at Len uh, Leno's jokes and whatnot. Everybody, I, th I thought that uh, his laughing was funny, you know, and uh, 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 Leno's, Leno is funny, but his voice starts to get annoying after a while, you know? Uh, uh, another you know, feeling. Here is uh, Matt. Matt, you're on a fuzz. Hey, buddy. Hey, pal. I used to watch uh, Leno all the time, but then now I only catch about the last 10 minutes of his show so I can get Conan, and there's four main reasons why I don't watch him anymore. He tells the same two jokes to Kevin about him dating a young Asian girl, Kevin doing drugs, and bringing his wife out all the time, and Howie Mandel is the only reasons why I, can, I get sick of his show. Howie all Mandel four. is on that show quite a bit, isn't he? Yeah, he, he has this stupid little bit that he always does. Him... Uh, Gilbert Godfrey, Arsenio, and the guy who was in uh, Mighty Winds and that uh, Best in Show. I, I don't know which one uh, you're talking about, though. Not was the it guy Fred Willard? Was, not the guy who was in American Pie as the dad, the other guy. That was... Uh, All right, not Eugene Levy. I can't think of his name. Uh, Dubs, do you know? No, but I was going to say uh, Kevin Smith is on there all the time, too. Why is Oh, yeah, Smith they wore him out. <laughs> How weird is this? And also, they kept bringing out the fat gay intern, which got pretty sick. Cause yeah, they did was... run with that. They had, uh, like, their intern thing they did, like, in a real uh, Letterman piece, where they would have him do stunts and stuff all over the place. All right, 866-277-4969. You would think that if the show is as popular as it is, a lot of, of the pro people would be calling us, but we're getting all the negatives. All right, uh, Dubs, how you feeling after killing five energy drinks? I'm hopping. Are you? Yeah. And Fez, you're be, you're kind of wired, and I saw how angry you got uh, at a caller who w didn't talk quick enough to you. <laughs> how much of it did you drink? I drank the, this whole one can. And it's got you in a kind of a surly mood? Yeah, all of a sudden I'm like real annoyed by just everything. Yeah. I'm sorry. You know, like when... <laughs> <laughs> all right, you're hopping up and down, Dubs. Yeah, I'm... I, I only slept four hours last night. It feels like I slept like 13. Now, is it a happy <laughs> thing for you or a bad thing? It's happy, but I have to go to the bathroom. All right. So it just that, goes right through you. Yeah. It's triggered something. Here's uh, Laura. Laura, you're on the Ron and Fez show. Hi, Laura. Uh, hello. Um, I is watching... Hi, Laura. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I stopped watching uh, Leno because for some reason that's the only program on my television and satellite combination that continuously runs the Spanish subtitles audio program, and I can't stand having to read it in Spanish when I'm listening to it in English. So I have no idea how to make it stop. I don't think that's Mr. That Leno's fault. No, I know, no, he no. does that on all the shows. Yeah, but for, yeah. for some reason I can't turn
turn that Spanish subtitle off on his show? Is that just my TV or is that everybody? Yeah, it's on every show. It's on every channel. It's, it's across the country. Yeah. He's just trying to get more Spanish listeners. Oh, oh man. That is so irritating. I hate having to... I enjoy it. I've been le slowly learning Spanish as I watch. If you learn Spanish, there's hidden jokes in there. Oh, yeah? Yeah. yeah. I, haven't, I haven't noticed that, but... I, I, I couldn't figure out how to make it stop, but I didn't know he was doing it on purpose. Uh, yeah, he is. So don't uh, ever worry about it. Just sit back and enjoy. Here's uh, Chris. Chris, you're on Fez. Hey, buddy. Yeah. That guy, Matt, that called in was talking about the uh, actor who's in Best in Show. He played the character of the uh, guy at the uh, who uh, announced the dog show that had... Fred, a Fred Willard. Thing. Yeah, Fred Willard. That's his name. Thank you very much. Uh, here is uh, Robert. Robert, you're on Fez. Hey, uh, Robert from Sterling. I just wanted to say, you know, it seems like the, the, the set for Hollywood Squares must be in the same uh, area as uh, the set for Jay Leno's show in Burbank there because uh, they always seem to have the same people on. That's very funny. <laughs> and Martin Mull in the center square. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. The thing that Leno does that really creeps me out is when he has a musical act or a comedian on and they darken the back of the stage, but you can still see Leno's silhouette back there sitting at the desk watching the act like he's some sort of big chin Caesar and the court jester has come out to perform for him. Here's uh, Vince. Vince, you're on Fez. Hey, uh, Ron, it says, hey, man, I wonder if y'all know how many black people actually watch Jay Leno. Because I, I, I'm thinking that he got Arsenio on here trying to reach out to the black community, but I feel like Arsenio is whiter than he is. What do you think? Yeah, I think you have a good point there. Uh, there was a thing where Arsenio would, used to get huge numbers uh, of black viewers because he would have on people and broke like a lot of hip hop bands when no when they weren't really getting on television anywhere else and black comics so he really did well for that in a while i don't know what it, exactly happened i guess uh... he lost some of that to leno i guess after leno came on right yeah that was yeah because he had the gig before leno did yeah he had the show when he had elderly johnny carson that i guess no kids were watching uh... here's uh... mark mark your manifest Hey, how you doing? Hey. thing that drives me crazy about Jay Leno, every single time I see a picture of him in a magazine or on some TV interview, is he's always got a blue denim shirt on. Yeah, I noticed that. I think that's because he works on motorcycles during the day. He doesn't and do it. he really wants to feel like uh, he's, you know, that, this is what kills me. If you really wanted to work in a garage, Jay, do it. Instead of taking up a network TV show, the denim shirt with the denim pants combo. Yeah, and the pant, and again, like he's on work release outside the county jail. He should be eating fifty hard boiled eggs. <laughs> and again, the pants too high, the shirt tucked in too tight, and it just looks uncomfortable for a guy who's looking like he's trying to be comfortable. J Dubs, how you doing after the five energy drinks? I'm doing pretty good. I, I was just going to say, when he, when he dresses like that, all tucked in, it's probably kind of like Cigar Sid. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's a good Sid. It's, it's a nice, uh, soft, but tight package because it's wrap firm. His mind's just racing. <laughs> I hate to see what El Jefe is going to have to go through at 11. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready to shoulder the load. All right, why don't we give out these uh, Kiss uh, tickets, Fezzy? Here's how we're going to do it. Now, it's not only Kiss tickets but a chance to go on and pick up more. A flight anywhere in the United States. Anywhere Independence Air flies. And oh, okay. <laughs> that they fly in the United States. Right. So it's KISS live in concert at the Nissan Pavilion on Saturday, July 24th. That show starts at 7 p.m. and tickets are on sale at all Ticketmaster locations. Now that will put you in the finals for this uh, free trip anywhere Independence Air uh, flies. We were going to do a parody song contest. But we got shot down on that because, and I didn't even know this, Fez, but apparently we no longer have the deal where we're allowed to play whole songs on the radio station. Since we're a talk station, we used to have that. And they go, you know what, we don't play enough music. We're not playing music on the weekends. We'll drop that and not pay into ASCAP or whoever the hell the union is that you're supposed to pay for that. So what we thought we would do since we can't do parody songs is just give us a quick Ron and Fez jingle. The jingle that we like, maybe we'll use it here on the show. You can just make it up now as you're sitting there and give us a call at 
277-4969. Do we have any of the dynamite jingles around now? Maybe we could play one of those just to give people an idea of what a jingle sounds like. He is so wired. <laughs> he is looking around like he heard a coyote. Yeah. <laughs> and he is run he's running back and forth. I don't know if there's a purpose to his movements. Dynamite have the real professional jingle stuff that is done. Uh, that they have done, and they probably have it done like twice a year. They have updated. Here's one of them right now that Dubs has. Now that's very nice, uh, Dubs. You got one that's uh, a little more singing in it, though. The Don and Mike Show. Now that's a big one that they do. And if you've ever heard a jingle before, you need to make up one for Ron and Fez. We got Kiss tickets on the line. Then the opportunity later to go into the finals and win tickets, airline tickets. Independence Air, wherever they fly, a pair of uh, airline tickets, wherever they fly in the U.S. Give us a call, 866-277-4969, 866-277-4969. This might be a better one for it, for this. Oh, come on. <laughs> come on. He's wired. Now he's all hopped up and yelling at the equipment. He's just absolutely wired. Fez is holding on like you're being shot out of a, out of a rocket. Well, I don't know when this airline left. Are we on Independence Air right now? Oh, we don't have it now? Uh, he's queuing it up. Right, well, we'll come back with some more. Give us a call, 866-277-4969. We'll be right back. It's the Ron and Fez Show.